Hey, welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive. And today is just a quick little update. A uh, lot's been going on. Uh, I've been trying to film some footage and get it uh, spliced together and up, but I just haven't had the time to do it. So I apologize. Um, been really slacking off and getting videos done. And a lot of the footage I did shoot uh, didn't turn out good. So some of the things I've been working on uh, is getting ready for the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition. Uh, today starts the Mid-Atlantic CCDC uh, Regional Qualifier. Uh, so all the kids are basically down there already. They're getting the debriefs uh, going on. They're getting them ready for tomorrow's event. Uh, I'm about to shoot this video, upload this video, pack my car, get showered, and get on the road. Uh, hence the crazy hair. Uh, took the day off, basically just relaxing. So... With that being said, um, I had some grand plans like I do every year for the CCDC and it just doesn't work out all the time. Um, so I was planning to set up a couple uh, Raspberry Pis running Cali. Didn't expect to run into all the problems I was running into. Uh, kind of scratched that idea for now. I do have my Mark V uh, ready to go. I do have uh, my Alpha cards and everything else uh, that I was going to use for some wireless type uh, testing. Um, this year I was assigned to the wireless team while wireless is not one of my stronger points It's definitely something that I look forward to doing because over the last several weeks now I got to spend a lot of time researching planning uh, Honing my skills something I normally probably wouldn't have done Unless I had an engagement coming up to actually go in and do that So basically I'm treating this like an engagement basically build, uh, Rehoning my skills making sure I didn't forget anything looking for new uh uh, techniques and tactics to uh, bring to the table for the event. Uh, thankfully, I do have a great uh, team that will be working with me on this avenue so uh, we can feed on each other. Uh, we'll all bring a bunch of tools. So it'll be a great time. Um, and then, of course, there's other teams spread out for uh, Windows attacks, Linux attacks, firewalls, and so on and so forth. It's a lot for a small group of red teamers to take on. Um, I think it's six or eight schools, basically, and each school has anywhere between eight to ten uh, assets that we need to be able to compromise, retain access to, and disrupt uh, services during engagements. So we try to break it out amongst all the teams so we can attack all the teams fairly during the competition, uh, keep everything moving, and keep it as a, a great learning experience for the kids. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Mid-Atlantic CCDC or the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition in general, make sure you check out the National CCDC website. Uh, great resources there. If you're in college and you're taking uh, a degree in any type of computer security, cybersecurity, whatever it's called these days, uh, look at this event. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you to get some hands-on uh, experience and attack and defend type scenario. Uh, also gives you a good way to build up a lot of contacts, get the networking going, meet a lot of the people that are in the industry. You run into people like Mubix, Chris Gates, uh, Paul Asadorian has been there in the past, uh, Larry. Um, but not only that, a lot of companies help sponsors. So you get an opportunity as a, uh, as a college uh, student to come down and talk to larger companies. Uh, last year there was Pfizer there. Um, Deloitte's been there in the past, uh, Boeing, um, a couple of defense contractors, the military, of course. So uh, usually today, Thursday, they usually do a job fair. So for those who are interested in a part of the competition, you can go there, talk to recruiters, hand in resumes. And then if you guys do happen to win, that kind of ups your chances of possibly landing a job uh, once you're done with school. Um, something you may want to talk to recruiters about. Uh, I've seen in the past, Sometimes the recruiters take some of the top players, uh, offer jobs. Some of them may not be eligible for jobs yet. Maybe they're still in their freshman year, sophomore year of college. But it's definitely an opportunity for those who are out there. Um, can't stop talking enough good things about the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition and what it offers to the to the um, the young adults, basically. And uh, hats off to all those out there who volunteer for this event each year. Um, we have all the red team members, of course. Uh, we donate our time, our energy, our expertise. Uh, we have the white team members who basically help set up, coordinate, build the infrastructure, get things going. We got the blue team, which is, of course, the students. Uh, the orange team, which is the volunteers, uh, the students' customers during the event. We get different uh, law enforcement agencies partaking into this. So there's hundreds and, pe hundreds and hundreds of people that come together to get this event going. 
uh, take several months to get it moving and they all do a great job and it all benefits the, uh, the, the college students. So that's my rant for today. Um, hopefully I'll get some video during the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition. That'll be interesting to share with you guys. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple of attacks or something maybe recorded so you guys can see some of the craziness that goes on. Um, try to make sure that we stay within the, the realms of what's allowed to be uh, videoed and what not, what can't be videoed. Uh, sometimes they do a live link uh, streaming. They do that. I'll make sure I update and post a link out there so those who follow me can watch along. Um, other than that, uh, I need to get my butt on the road. It's one o'clock here on the East Coast. It's probably a two, three hour drive, driving to Baltimore. I want to avoid crazy traffic on that loop. Get checked in my hotel, get over to the event, check it out, see who's there, what's going on. Say hello to my friends, uh, then go out to the Red Team dinner tonight so we can basically regroup and get chatting for our events tomorrow. And then hopefully get to bed early so we get some sleep and uh, be a bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for the kids in the morning. So uh, that's all. Uh, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe. Um, check out my blog um, and post any comments, questions you got. Let me know if you have a topic you want covered, uh, technology you have a question on. I do plan to get back into doing some more of the OSCP VMs, get them posted up. Uh, just been a little crazy with work, CCDC family in general, uh, try and get everything accomplished here uh, and still focus on this as well. Uh, I'll throw one other tidbit of information there real quick is I, uh, I use one of my vouchers for uh, InfoSec Addicts to sign up for their new Ultimate Pen Test uh, class. Uh, basically, it's supposed to be a prep class for OSCP, CEH, uh, ECPT, I think it's called, and a bunch of others. Uh, be interesting how this goes. It looks like it's approximately five days, uh, approximately, or maybe it's four days, approximately five hours each day, so about 20 hours. Um, I'm hoping they record it. I know the first day of class I'm going to be traveling already, but uh, for all I know, maybe Joe is traveling as well and it'll get moved. But uh, I'll get definitely post some videos on that. Um, altogether, the, the PowerShell class I took through there uh, was definitely pretty decent. Uh, for those who are thinking about taking an InfoSec Addicts class, it's hit or miss. Uh, Joe's a really busy guy, um, so the schedules get bumped around a lot. So if you're flexible with something like that, it's great. Um, if you have $49 that you want to invest into yourself, it's great. You can take as many of the classes as you want for $49.99. Within reason, right? So like the Pentest Academy is not included, the Ultimate Hack is not included, and some other classes not included. But all these little classes like the PowerShell class, Metasploit, uh, Advanced, um, Exploit Development, all those are included in that $49.99. And you can go in there, get the recordings, follow along live, and practice all you want. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out for that price. Especially you college students who are watching this video, uh, make sure you guys check it out. $49.99. Eh, it sounds like a lot of money. Skip Starbucks for a couple of days. Skip going out to the bar one night. And you guys will have your $49.99 or whatever you guys are doing. Put some money on the side and invest a month of your time into this and better your skills. Get some additional knowledge. All right, once again, uh, make sure you like the video, comment, um, share it. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later.